Welcome to another episode of Sippin' and Sewin'. I'm Melly, and today we are going to be sipping on Anchor Steam Beer from Anchor Brewery. And today we are also working on another seam rip. Yeah, so, so Anchor Steam Beer, just a little bit of background on that. Again, it's a lager, like I said, um, brewed with a lager hops. It's also brewed with, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, lager yeast. And it's brewed with a um, caramel and pale um, hops. So it just has a little tiny bit of bitterness, um, but it's really smooth from what I can remember. Um, okay, so let's give this a little pour. A beautiful amber, golden amber color. It has a really nice head. This is one of my favorite beers, favorite lagers. It's really pretty. Look at that head. Everybody loves head. Uh, let's give it a little whirl. Mmm. Smells really good. Smells like a little bit of caramel. That maltiness. Mmm. I love this beer. Really easy drinking. Really yummy. I think it's about around 5%, maybe just under 5% alcohol, which is kind of like your normal um, range, especially for craft style beer lagers. Mm. This is super yum yum. Um, so, a little bit on the history of this is steam beer, got the steam ale. I was able to actually go and have a um, tour around that last time I was in San Francisco. It was so fun. It smells like the most delicious hot cereal in the world there, the wart that they're working on in there. Uh, first beer was in 1896, I believe, um, and then they created this beer. It's when the gold rush was hitting in California, out in San Francisco. It's always been one of the happening places. Um, and they made beer, and they got the steam part of it from the fermentation they did. It was outside fermentation on the top of the buildings, and it created a lot of steam, especially if you've ever been to San Francisco. It's very humid there. It's very um, much more cold uh, than like Southern California, for example. So when you get that heat from the fermentation, going out into that humid, cold air, you're going to get a lot of steam. And so that's why they coined this, the Anchor Steam Beer. Super balanced. Super bubbly, as you can see. The bubbles are just, like, happening. So yum yum. Okay. Let's do our sewing. Cute little bottle cap. Alright, so... We have our white thread today because we're doing with dealing with a white fabric. Ooh, I don't think I've eaten a lot today, so it's only five percent, but it's already hitting me. I feel like. Woo. Order first. You want to kind of cut off any thread that's there hanging there. What you want to do, you want to fold that in and fold this side in as well. See that? So that you have the that edge that's kind of frayed is going to go into the inside. So you're going to fold it in and fold it in and then bring these two parts of the, the folded parts together and that's what you're going to sew. So, before we do that, let's just pull the thread in, go up underneath, up underneath here, and just poke your thread in so that the back of your, the end of your knot is going to be on the inside, okay? We have our folded, our folded ends, just go a little bit at a time if you don't see where that fold is here. Just stick your needle in through the fold, okay? Take a sip of your beer. So hold on to it so you give it a little bit of tight tightness, okay? Just you need to hold on to one bit at a time. Okay, so let's go ahead into the fold. 
You can just do one fold at a time if you want into the fold. Do you see that? You can pull that through. And then go onto the other side where it's folded. So you just get a little bit of big, pull it through. Okay? So this way you're not really gonna see the thread. So as you're going down, you just keep folding, keep pulling it in a little bit, okay? And then putting the needle in right at the top of the fold. See? Okay. Now go back to the other side, this green side right where the fold is just poke the needle through so you can see I'm kind of closing it off there okay you just keep doing that the whole way down okay keep folding it down don't fold it too much because otherwise it's going to get weird. So you just want to see like, look on both ends to see how much, how much it's already folded over. So you see that? It's about the same, about half inch. So you want to make sure you do that the same, fold it the same as you're going down. About a half inch, if it's a half inch, about a half inch. Once you start getting the hang of it, it's really easy to just go both fabrics. So you go top of the white, in and out with the thread, the needle, then you come over to the green, to the other side, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the top of the green, pull it through. See that? Just keep going. You kind of squeeze them together. You can, you can, you make like a little bit, like right where the two like ends come together. You can kind of just swivel your needle through the top and the top, the top, the top, the top, the top, like that. Just kind of push it through. Okay. I'm going to push it through the top of this, then through the, through the other one, that one, the green one, the white one, pink. Okay, it's coming together. Drink more beer. you haven't been to San Francisco, go. It's one of my favorite, favorite cities ever. If you haven't been to Anchor Steam, go. It's a really fun, cool brewery. And if you talk with the brewmasters there, they'll give you a lot of beer to try. It's, they're really, really nice. I like talking beer and I love drinking beer, obviously. Um, but they have a whole bunch of different beers now that they're brewing there. But this is definitely their flagship beer. This has a little tiny bit of, tiny bit of aftertaste spike to it. It's not going to look perfect, perfect, but nobody's going to be able to tell. And then you save your um, comforter or something, then you save it rather than having to. As soon as this comforter goes through the wash, this hole is going to open up and then it's never going to be able to get used again. So we're actually almost done. Very simple. And even if like you can see, see you can kind of, you can kind of see the thread a little bit. But once you pull it, once you get to the end and you pull it tight, you're not going to be able to see the thread. So even you'll see it a little bit, like the back and forth, but you are not going to be able to see it at the end when we pull it tight. So keep going all the way down.
don't do this. My grandma, my grandma always gets mad at me for putting this in my mouth. But don't do this at home. Almost finished. So especially when you get to the end, make sure you have the right amount folded in. Because if you fold too much or you fold too little bit, it's going to create a bubble and you don't want a bubble. So you see, pull it. Give it, give it some pull so that way you know, okay? Can you all see that? Every time I'm going down, I'm making sure it's folded in, okay? And I'm pulling it, all right? And although it's closed right here, I'm just gonna make sure I just go and I'm gonna tie the knot once I get into the part that's already, that's already um, still sewn together. Cause I wanna make sure that um, it doesn't come off again right there. Now I'm gonna give it a good pull. So first I'm gonna pull this to make sure we're good here. Okay. So as you can see, you can't really see the the sewing, the stitching. The stitching you can't really see it. So even though you know we could kind of see it before, like I told you, if you're gonna pull this, pull this tight. Okay, hold on to the far end from where you started so that you don't, it doesn't bunch, okay? You want to pull it tight. Give this one more pull so it's even, okay? And look, it looks great and it's closed. And then now, we're just going to go ahead and get, close it off, okay? I like to go right into the seam here. Right in between the two fabrics, okay? Then you pull through till you get the end, edge of that loop. Go around and through with your needle. Go all the way down, okay? And you do it one more time. And then just cut it. You wanna cut it close, but not too close because you don't want the knot to come out. And as soon as you kind of pull it through, the knot's there. Can't really see it. Rather than stick it through yourself like I always do. <laughs> Just put it back in your school. And voila, fixed. Meow meow. And then finish your beer. Don't forget to drink your beer and finish your beer. The best thing about this anchor seam is that even when it gets a little tiny bit warm, because here in Hawaii, everything gets warm so fast. It's humid and hot here. As you can see, I'm sweating. But as soon as this, even if this gets a little bit warm, it still tastes really good. It's not like um, some more uh, basic lagers that, because it has a little bit of malt, more malt in it, so that's why it has that kind of like more amber-ish, kind of like a golden caramel color to it. Um, so it has a little bit more uh, of a darker malt that gives it a little bit more flexibility when it gets a little warmer. So it still tastes really delicious. I mean, you don't want it to be hot, you don't want it to be warm, but in the instance that it does, it still tastes good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and now that you can um, sew your seam rips back together in both ways and drink beer. I hope you are happy and have enjoyed this one. And, all right, until next time. Take care, have fun, sip and sew in your spare time. See you.